Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Koja Country Lifestyle. Today I'm going to talk about the health benefit of the papa leaf. This is a papa leaf. It's a very large leaf. Papa, it almost looks like a breadfruit leaf. Papa is a native plant to Mexico and South America. The papa plant loves warm climate and it is found mostly in tropical countries. It is properly grown in the Caribbean also and exported to other countries the fruits, primarily like in say the UK, Canada, USA. The primary compound of the papa leaf is a compound called carpene, which is an alkaloid compound. The papa leaf is believed to have antiplasmodial and antimalarial properties. A very big papa leaf like this one can make about two cups of tea. Just boil it like when the water starts to boil up, you place it in the boiling water. And for about five minutes and let it steep. Papa leaf tea, when you talk about the tea now, it may treat malaria. Anything to deal with like the coal business, malaria, dengue, dengue fever, whooping cough and other respiratory conditions. If you have a bad cold, just make you don't know, just drink a good cup of papa leaf and it treat your cold. The papa leaf tea improve your blood platelets whenever you drink the tea um, it improves your blood platelet um, counts it speedily um, you know it just speed it up immediately the platelet counts it also may help with stroke and heart conditions also Um, the papa leaf tea it really helps to improve you know, and boost your immune system. Very good. Juice from the leaf or tea can also uh, you can also use as a um, fruit juice along with it, like even say cucumber juice, orange juice, you know, that help to boost the immune system. Some people also use like the leaves in many dishes and salads. I must say, if you have not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, share, like, comment, and tell your friends, tell your friends about Koja Country Lifestyle. This is a papa tree. That's a male one. A lot of men do not like to have male papa tree around their home. They usually have some little first time phrases are stuff what they usually say about the papa tree you don't even remember what it is something about like eating something on the papa's trunk don't quite remember that's the papa tree see how tall it is the fruits are also very nutritious i'll be doing a series about the papa fruits someday So as you have just learned, the papa leaf is very important. So make sure you start to use your papa leaves. So it's best to um, pick it like before the sun up, you know. And um, best time to use is like any time after first quarter moon, 
going straight back into la, to last quarter, all the way up. New, it's not good. It's not best to use during the new moon in the form of medicinal plants. The older the moon is, the better it is. And you get best result like when you pick it in the morning. Like even say if up to seven. Seven o'clock is alright in the morning. Sometimes it's good like for it to quail, like you let it quail. Some people use it fresh, that's no problem anyway, but I always like to kinda of let it quail a little. Can also make nice juice with the leaves. You get all the good result from it. No enzyme is destroying that way. I must say my people thank you very much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Special shout out to Chris and the Wind. Big up your mom, Diana, also. Cat enjoying his life. Look at the cat enjoying big life.